Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I want to show you how to add products to your Shopify store. In order to start, go to your admin panel and click on products. So I'm assuming you have no product right now. You have two options. You can add a product manually one by one. This is fine if you have only a few. So click on add to product or you can also import products. This is really useful if you have more than a few products and uh, it's going to go much quicker. So let's go with our first option, adding products one by one. So click on add product. You have to give it a title. You can give it a, a description. You can set here your product availability. So if you have multiple channels, maybe your product, it's not available on one of them. So you can manage all of that here. Guys, I have a special offer for you. Just let me pause the video for a few seconds. If you're interested in, in having a one hour consultation with me and five hours worth of free work on your Shopify store, this is all value at $575. It's, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment in the comment section below. And you have the chance to be one of the winner each month. So please do that and let's continue the video. In my case, I have only two of them, but maybe your product is not available on the point of sale or maybe on Messenger, Instagram and any of the channels that you have. So after you have your description, you can add images and you should add images for your product. So just click on upload image or drop your files directly here. In order for you to better organize your products, I suggest you assign them a product type and maybe a vendor if you have multiple vendors on your store. So in my case, I will assign them a t-shirt as a product type. You can manually select a collection and add this product to that collection just by searching over here or if you properly set up your collection to use conditions and I made a video on that search my channel if you properly set up uh, the collection to use conditions because in my case I put it to product type you will see that it will automatically be added to that collection then you can have uh, you can select and add tags to this product Tags has nothing to do with, with SEO. Tags most of the time are not visible on the front end of your store. Tags is really for you to manage your product. So maybe is it's, it's for a color, it's for, um, for a certain type of product you have, and those tags, you can also use them to create collections with them. We can just add t-shirt, maybe some colors, and like this, we have tags for this product and we can manage them later on. Do add a price. You can have a compare at price. So if you want to show your, um, your customers that you have, um, you have a sale, so maybe normally it's $25. You can also add um, a cost per item. So like that, you can keep track of how much uh, sales and, and, and your profit and all of that. So let's assume this one goes for 15. Select if you want to charge taxes or not. This is uh, optional if you want to assign a SKU, if you want to uh, assign a barcode. You have to decide if you keep track of inventory. So if you have a product that you make as you go, you don't need to keep track of inventory. And that's why you have the option don't track inventory. But if you do, most of the time you do have an inventory. So keep that. Shopify is going to track the inventory have set a quantity and also you have the options for customer to allow them to purchase even if the product is out of stock so maybe you want to do that maybe you don't you have this option do specify if the product it's a physical product that needs shipping and uh, put a weight if you're shipping you do calculate it based on weight this is going to be really useful you can also add your HS tariff code for international customs. You can just click here and look up your code and decide who's going to do the fulfillment for this product. Is it is it you? Is it Amazon? Did you set it up with a fulfillment service? You're going to have those options over here. Then you can add different variations. So variations can be um, if you have different sizes, if you have different colors, you will be able to add that over here. So 
let's just click on add variation your option name so you can have uh, three different options and up to 100 different variations so let's say I want to have size and I want to have color so what I'm gonna do is just type them here small press enter medium large and your colors so we want to have white black so because I'm doing all of this Shopify will create all my variations that are possible I have six different variation available so Shopify creates all of that for me don't forget to specify your inventory for each of for each of your variations depending on what you have available and the SKU uh, that will help you to keep track of your inventory save product it's all created as I told you see my uh, my product here got added to um, to collection t-shirt collection because I assigned the product type t-shirt so I didn't have to do that it automatically you see here the auto it got assigned to that one final thing what you can do is play with your search engine listing preview so add more keywords to the title the description and also the URL like that you have better chance of showing on Google so this is it for for the products this is how to add your product manually the second option was to import products so what you can do is go back to your products and click on import if you never imported before you should download this sample CSV template it will look something like this and you have an example here so what's important for you is assigning a, a title the body HTML this is the description you have your vendor you have your product type the tags is it published or no it should be true you have your options so the title of your option so the option name is like in the example we did before it should be color or size so this could be size and then you will have your small medium will be here and large then you have your your skew the weight it's in, in grams your inventory rule your um, your quantity just go one by one and if, if, if there's something you don't understand just copy what it's above in the example same thing for your pricing or what you can do is if you created a product already so just create one as we did before select this one and do export it's gonna export and you click here selected product just the one you have it's gonna export it and you're gonna be able to copy what you did over there for multiple products so you see the product that we just created you have the title we didn't add any description we have the type that we we selected those are the tags option name its size and then you have first option it's size second option it's color so you need to put all of them that are available like this and of course you have your quantity you will have your price compare at price and all the other options and details that you need to to have so once you have this once you fill up with all your products and uh, the handle just as a small tip here the handle of the product should be it needs to be always unique just copy this if you had another product similar to the first one this cannot be the same so it will have to be something unique you just can just add a number to it but most of the time it should be the same as your um, as your product title so like that so once you have that let's save it once you have your product CSV completed you can click on import choose your file you have the option to overwrite if your product exists already so if you have an update and you're using the same product handle that's why the product handle needs to be unique then it will just overwrite on it so in our case we we don't need to do that so upload file and it's gonna tell you that's gonna up upload two products or the number of products that you have so that's good start import you wait a few seconds and then it's done it's gonna take longer obviously if you have more products so now we have our second product also 
that was created because of the import with it that's it don't don't be scared to to try it out do it do it y yourself if you if you mess up you're just gonna restart over it it's not it shouldn't be the end of the world so do play with it add products one by one or create yourself a csv file if you have let's say more than uh, than 20 products it will make sense for you to create your uh, your csv file and import them all at once so this is it if you if you have any questions please use the comments below the video to ask me anything you want to know about this video about this process i will uh, i will take the time to answer also don't forget to like subscribe and comment in the video i will draw for free one hour consultation and five hours worth of work time valued at 575 dollars each month so by subscribing liking and commenting on this video you can win a 575 free value that i will draw each month so please do that and see you next time